It's finally time to start my kitchen remodel. So here is the kitchen, the official before everything has been cleaned out. Demo is complete and this is our current state of things. A room full of cabinets. This bra is my go-to. What do you think you are doing? Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If this is the first video you're watching of mine. Hi, my name is Carissa. So it's been like, I think over two weeks since the last time I posted a vlog. So I figured it was time to at least post a vlog this week so that I can share with you everything that's been going on in my personal life. I feel like the last two weeks of videos have been like hauls and styling videos. So it's definitely time to catch you guys up on what's just been going on personally. I ended up hitting the are you still watching pop up on Netflix and I was like okay I should stop watching stop taking a break and get back to what I was doing funny enough um, I've been watching Grey's Anatomy I started it from season one again has anybody else done that I'm currently finishing up season three I'm starting season three episode 24 so I think this might be the second to last or the last episode of season three. Woo! So I'm definitely gonna finish watching this tonight. But what I am doing is I'm finally... Oliver's playing with his toy. Sorry about that. What I am doing is I am packing up everything in my kitchen. It's finally time to start my kitchen remodel. He's coming over my contractor tomorrow to start the demo, start tearing down everything in my kitchen. My cabinets are being delivered this week. My cabinets are being installed this week. And then I think the countertops and everything else is gonna be like a week out. But everything is finally starting. This is months in the making. Finally, like it took, I think four to six weeks for my cabinets to be made and everything. So we're here, we're doing it. I cannot wait. Although I think the last update I gave is that my flooring was gonna be done at the same time. But of course, I feel like things never work out the way that I wanted to. Um, my flooring that I picked was back ordered, so my floors are gonna be done like the first week of January, I think, as of right now. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be done at a different time than my kitchen. So not what I wanted, I wanted my kitchen and the floors to be done all together, but it is what it is, we're moving on. It'll still get done just at a later time. So my place is an absolute disaster. Here's all the boxes everywhere. Ah, tons of things to do. Hi, Oliver, are you done playing with your little toy? So this is the toy that he loves to play. He sits in the middle and he spins around. Okay, so anyways, here's everything. My kitchen, there's all my food. Tons of garbage and stuff over there that I need to take out. Here's just like tons of like materials everywhere. And so yes, this is my kitchen as of right now, just I guess a quick overview for a moment. And then everything has been cleaned out. I cannot believe. The only thing that hasn't been done is a few dishes remaining in here. I was waiting for the dishwasher to finish so that I can put all the dishes um, away all together. And then I've kept some things out that <laughs> I'm gonna need it to cook with. I'm gonna end up setting up like some sort of little station that I'm gonna have like my kettle, a microwave, and then I ordered like a, a hot plate so that I can at least do some cooking. So what I need to do next is I need to clean out everything in this room. I've already pretty much started cleaning out this section, but this is where like everything like this is going to be stored is over here. Like my refrigerator, my dishwasher, my stove and all that sort of stuff. So this whole area is gonna be cleaned out and then I'm gonna just put it, I think, in this back corner and then move this stuff up and then I'll keep all the boxes and stuff over there and out of the way and then I'll end up moving all of this stuff too. So that's what I need to get started on next. I definitely just like wanna finish this up. He's coming I think at 9 a.m. tomorrow so don't have a lot of time to like finish doing all this stuff. I'm trying to get something to set you on. There you go. So yeah, I'm pretty excited but again my place is gonna be a mess. What's new? I think that's why, like, with my floors being moved, like, I took it so hard is because I just, like, I want to be done with all this stuff. Like, if anybody has done renovations, like, you know, like, your place is just a mess and you feel like 
unorganized and chaotic and all that sort of stuff and then I work here as well it's just a lot and I don't want to deal with it for longer than I absolutely need to but it is what it is so a few things that I ended up getting I mean I have a new garbage disposal that's not really anything that exciting I have like all of my handles picked out too I decided I want to do something like black but something long and I think that this is seven and a half inches of like a handle thought that was going to be so sleek so every single handle is going to be this I also have I'm not going to take the tile out but I have backsplash tile they are three by twelve tiles in like a glossy plain like finish and I'm going to try to do like a herringbone style to my backsplash versus like a standard like offset subway and then over here I have like my sink which that's not exciting I'm not gonna show that either <laughs> but then I have like my faucet so it's gonna be a black faucet Ugh. and this is what it looks like so it's super nice and sleek and matte so it'll look really nice so I'm really excited for all of this stuff to go in it's all just been sitting here for I think like a week or two so of course like the renovations aren't going to be finished in this vlog but a good portion of it will so I'll of course continue filming and post a reveal once it's all said and done but yeah it's exciting that that's underway and I definitely had to share that with you guys. So for the rest of today I'm just going to continue moving everything and packing and then I need to edit a video um, that's gonna go up tomorrow. So that's kind of like the things on my agenda. Definitely watch a little bit more of Grey's Anatomy, take out the garbage, not really exciting stuff, but definitely wanted to kick off this vlog, say hi, tell you what's been going on and what's gonna be happening in the next couple of days. And I hope all of you guys are doing really, really well too. So here's an update. This room is completely emptied out. And then here's all the boxes. And then I kind of like moved everything around. So now I have like my desk and everything like behind the couch and I moved the couch up too. And then obviously I took out all the garbage, cleaned up everywhere. And so yeah, so here is the kitchen, the official before. I'm gonna make sure I'm saving this footage or we could refer back to it. Everything's empty. I'm gonna add like a pantry over here and here's another shot and here's this side and i'm gonna see about opening up this wall a little bit more but yeah here is the before of the kitchen all of its glory goodbye eight years it's time for a remodel i cannot wait for it
I don't know how appetizing this looks like on camera, but it's so delicious. It is like a vegetarian stir fry, so just tons of veggies. Zucchini, bell pepper, I have some carrots in here, and some stir fry noodles mixed in, and then just tons of seasoning as well. But so delicious, having my late dinner. Gonna eat this, do my dishes, and then finish uploading the video, and hopefully I'll be in bed before midnight. Okay guys, it's the next day, so I wanted to give you a quick update. They left about an hour ago. Demo is complete, and this is our current state of things. So obviously the old counter and everything was removed. Here is where we were trying to see if I can cut out a portion of this wall, but it looks like this beam is attached to the supporting beam up here so i can't remove this wall at all like even that part or anything because of the beam right here so i even wanted to like raise this part of it and i can't otherwise it will cost me an arm and a leg <laughs> to try to remove it because it's supporting like this part of the ceiling here so Anyways, bad news there, but we'll move on. So that will be repatched again. And then we'll swing on over here so you can see. Look at that. Everything is removed. They took the door off for this little section where my water heater and washer and dryer are. But yeah, I cannot believe it. I can't believe how many colors of paint <laughs> There are on the wall behind. I'm like debating if it's even worth painting it or not, but since most of it will be hidden anyways. And then the floor we had removed now anyways, even though the floor isn't actually going to be done until January, but there was like four layers of different floors. And so it obviously just made more sense to clear this out now. I just might be living without floors for a month, but I'm okay with that. I'll put a rug down or something and we'll be good there. So yeah, I just wanted to share a little update on the kitchen and how it's going. I should be getting the cabinets delivered tomorrow and then the next day the cabinets will be installed. And then about a week after that, we'll deal with like the countertops and such. But this is the current state. Welcome to real life. Look at how messy my room is. It is ridiculous, but I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. My life and my house is a disaster. Going through all of the construction and renovations, obviously. So it is Wednesday, November 18th. It's a little after 3.20 p.m. I still haven't had lunch. I've been, what have I been doing today? I've been working. I went to the mall right when they opened this morning because I had my cabinets delivered. You, got, I hate the window that they give for any sort of deliveries. They gave 11 to 3 which is like your whole day, you know? I didn't know exactly what time that they would come, so I went right when the mall opens, just in case, but then they ended up coming, I think about at noon. So let me show you all of the cabinets. The contractor is gonna be back over today to check out the cabinets, and then tomorrow the cabinet should be getting installed. So definitely making a little bit of progress. Hi, Oliver, which is exciting. I, of course, have not had lunch yet, so I need to go do that. I am storing, obviously, tons of things in my room since I don't have space out in like the living room and I did get um I can't point to it I did get a skims package it's sitting on my dresser over there so I can show that in a little bit and then I have actually tons of target packages that came I ordered a bunch of Christmas tree like ornaments but for Juan's Christmas tree this is his first year that he's actually gonna have like a tree up and um yeah I had to pick out all the ornaments and stuff that would be going on his tree so it was all delivered here but then I needed to go over to his house but I will of course be like filming 
like a Christmas decorating when we do start to put up that Christmas tree. And then the Christmas tree in my house, it might be delayed even further. Like I like to have my Christmas tree up like weeks ago, but obviously with everything going on, there's just no way that I can put a Christmas tree up. So maybe like after this is all done, which I'm hoping it'll be done like right around Thanksgiving. So maybe like December 1st or so, like I can put the Christmas tree up and I can vlog that for you guys. This hair is a disaster. I actually tried to do something new, but it did not turn out cute at all. So then I just put it up in like a high ponytail. That sucks. I wish that it worked out better, but it didn't. So anyways. All right, here are all the packages, even more. So these are all of like my cabinets and things to go with the cabinets, I guess. So I don't even know which one's which. Well, I know that one's gonna be my big pantry that's gonna go right there, actually. And here's kind of dark, I have the lights off, but we have more cabinets in here. So yeah, a room full of cabinets. While I try to decide what I actually wanna have for lunch, I think I'm just gonna like make some toast. Does anybody do that like before? You can actually like pick out what you wanna eat, you like snack. I feel like I do that all the time. Snack before I have like whatever meal I wanna have. My little makeshift kitchen over here. My toaster is over here to make some toast. Juan is asking about all of the cabinets. I haven't updated him yet. So let's send him a little video showing that I got them in. Here are all of the cabinets and cabinet things. It's literally my entire apartment. It's kind of crazy. This one was like a pain in the butt to get in, but thank God they got it in. They were gonna like leave it outside. Contractor should be here later today to look at everything too. Here's my delicious toast, you guys. It's so exciting, I know. <laughs> I took out my liners too. I'm on a liner three, but supposed to be switching over to a liner four today. I'm just waiting for the doctor to like, my orthodontist to approve it. I don't know if I even mentioned on here, but like my day job, I work at Amazon and they actually extended our working from home until from January 2021 to June of 2021. So I'm gonna be working from home for another like six months longer than I was planning on. So it's so awesome because I feel like I'm gonna go my entire Invisalign journey without seeing anybody, without going to the office. Like it's perfect. And plus you wear a mask too. So if you wanna do like any sort of braces or Invisalign, like literally right now is the time to do it. It's so perfect. Cause no one is even gonna be looking at your mouth, you know, so kind of cool. These flowers are starting to die now, but I am so obsessed with them. I actually put it on my stories when they were brand new and I got them and they have blossomed. So it's like really filled out this vase, which is really cool. But a little update on my coffee table decor. There's other things that I want to do to it, like get another book that's like kind of like a, you know, a beige sort of color to it. But so far, this is what I have. You guys have seen these coasters before from Crate and Barrel. I got these beautiful white roses from Trader Joe's actually. And this vase is from Target and I think it was like $8. It's perfect. I think it's like a, a six by six square. These beads are awesome and I actually got them off of Amazon. And then same with this book. I got it off of Amazon too. It's the Vogue 100, A Century of Style. Kind of a cool book. But anyways, I figured I would share that with you. While I'm sitting right here getting ready to share with you everything that I got from Skims that came in the mail. So I actually placed two separate orders and I was originally just gonna show you this, but I'll share a couple of the other things that I got a couple of weeks ago. So starting with what's in the box that came in the mail today, I'm so excited to get my hands on this stuff. So the first thing I got is the scoop neck bra. It's from the Fits Everybody collection. You guys, I know I don't talk about my bras all that often, but you guys have actually been asking me quite a bit about like what type of bras I wear. Like when I'm doing like my styling videos or even like my hauls, like what I wear underneath. And it's not typically something that I feel like a lot of people talk about. So I definitely wanted to talk about it while I'm talking about this bra. This bra is my go-to. All of quarantine and like staying at home and all like this COVID-19 time period 
side, this has been the only bra that I've been wearing. I have it in three other colors. I could probably do a Skims collection video if you guys want to see all of like the Skim stuff I have. But I have this bra in three other colors. I originally got it off of Nordstrom actually when Nordstrom started carrying it because I didn't know like what size I was and I love that obviously Nordstrom's return policy, you can just go to any store, return it, you can ship it back via mail and it's free too. But with Skims, it does have like a $6 return shipping fee, which I'm not a big fan of. So now that I've kind of like know what size I am in things, I just order off of Skims when I see like new launches and stuff. But anyways, picked up another color in this. This color just launched. It is called juniper and i get this in a size small i have tried the extra small as well i can pull it off it's fine because this material is actually like very stretchy which is great but the small obviously it fits a lot better and like my cups aren't like toppling over like the edge of this it's more like seamless you know and then i also picked up the fits everybody dipped thong in the same color because i wanted to have like a cute little matching set so i do like the fits everybody collection for like the thongs i think that they're really comfortable and they're like super freaking stretchy as well. I honestly prefer like the cotton line more, but this is a close second. I actually think that it's really comfortable. So in the Fits Everybody line of underwear, I get this in a size extra extra small, probably because it is just like super stretchy. I feel like I would typically be like an extra small maybe. And then the last one I got is the Fits Everybody scoop bra again. They finally restocked the Umber, I think it's called a color, which is just kind of like a mauve color and I've been wanting it so bad so finally got my hands on this bad boy size small as well and so going into a couple of things that I got a couple weeks back this is from the cotton jersey collection so I have things from just like the standard cotton collection and I didn't know if the cotton jersey and the cotton collection were like the same thing it was kind of like a trial and error for a second I did pick up the cotton jersey dipped thong but it's dirty so I can't show it but I'll put like a picture of it on the screen for you can see what I'm talking about I have this in just like the standard cotton collection as well this is my favorite thong ever it's so comfortable however the original cotton collection ran super small so i actually had to size up to a size small in that underwear and i wasn't sure if the cotton jersey dip thong was like the same sizing or if it was different i tried even like emailing skims and asking if it was like the same collection and they weren't actually very helpful so i took a guess and i ordered a size small in it as well and it is actually a little bit too big i shrunk it a little bit in the wash so that it would fit more like an extra small with the cotton jersey collection i would actually recommend sticking with like true to size i would get the size extra small in that if I was to order more in the future but one of the second orders that I placed was getting the cheeky tanga in the cotton jersey collection the mineral color is one of my favorite colors that skims offers so I got it in mineral and then I also got it in garnet which is like that really pretty actually it's this color right here kind of like a burnt brownish kind of color and so that one is dirty I've been wearing it but here is the mineral color so I got this in a size extra small that's a perfect size for me in this so I would say that this runs true to size the only thing that I would really say with this is that the tag on the back like itches so in the other one I already took off the tag and before I wear this one I'm gonna take off the tag on this too these are just overall really comfortable they sit up kind of high rise and on like the back with a cheeky I don't like when things like ride in and this actually stays in spot and it actually is quite comfortable so I really like that about this underwear I've been trying to find like a good staple like underwear for like sleeping and stuff and that might be it I think I found a winner so then the other two things that I picked up from the cotton jersey collection is the mock neck tee. So this color in particular, this is garnet, the one I was mentioning. You guys would have actually seen me wear this in, I think it was my Gymshark haul video, like during like the sit down portion. And then also I shared it in my styling, my top 10 favorite from Lululemon for the fall time. I styled it in one of those outfits as well on there. I love the fit of this so much. It's definitely 
definitely stretchy, but I just feel like it's really flattering on. And in this, I picked it up in two sizes. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be the extra extra small or the extra small, because again, the sizing of it was a little bit weird, but the extra small is perfect. I would say if you don't want it skin tight, like it looks like on me, size up in this. I also picked it up in the mineral color as well. So I thought that it would be a really cute, like little set with like the underwear. And I don't know why, it just makes me feel so good. Like when like everything's like matching, it makes you feel like more put together. I don't know if that's just me. Anyways, this is such a great tank. I love it. It's really soft and really comfortable to wear. I've been trying to keep myself from wearing these like every single day. So really nice things from Skims lately that I picked up. I'm trying to stay off of their website because I just like want to get everything. I think that there are other things that I want, but I might just put it on my Christmas list and wait for that. So anyways, that's my little mini Skims haul that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And just let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy happy to answer them. I mean the best that I can. I'm not like a skims expert per se, but I feel like I can help. I've tried a lot of like the collections, you know? So we'll see. <laughs> Definitely picked up Indian food. Like I said, I was going to earlier. I've been craving it. Juan and I, funny enough, we actually, you can't see me, hi. We um like made Indian food. I think we made paneer tikka masala homemade a few days ago i was just craving it so much and i wanted it so bad like bought the paneer made it all like everything it was pretty good it was a bit like tangy i'd rather like a little bit spicier and less tangy but it was still pretty good i was impressed but this place makes the absolute best indian food like south indian it's so good so i got paneer butter masala some non bread and then of course it comes with some rice as well although i wish that they gave you more rice like hello and then this bad boy oh yeah i have non bread i have like a little tv tray this is ridiculous but anyways we have my dinner and then I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy and just enjoy my night. It's a little after, sorry for the TV. It's a little after eight o'clock right now, so good timing. I wanna try to be in bed by 10 o'clock, so. Oh yeah, I think I started part of episode one of season four last night, but I think I fell asleep. <laughs> so we're gonna watch that. Yes. New season, new interns, Lexi Gray. What? Gonna be so good. Are you just gonna watch me eat, or what are you, what are you doing? You're staring pretty intently at it, you know? You can't lick your lips. You can't do that. That's my food. Oh, oh. what do you think you are doing, mister? This is mine. I've been craving it. You don't even know what this is. Oh, wow, big yawn. Okay, well, I'm gonna get back to eating. You stay over there, please. Okay. It is the next day. As you can see, nothing has changed. Unfortunately, the plans have changed. My contractor didn't come over last night and he can't come over today to install the cabinets. Something came up with like another job that he's working on. So he's now coming over tonight to look at the cabinets and then coming over on Saturday to install. It is what it is. I'm just trying to be understanding and patient the best that I can honestly but obviously I don't want to be living like this forever but anyways unfortunately I won't be able to share any more Alexa, stop I'm making some more rice to eat like the leftover Indian food that I had yesterday it's a very late lunch yet again I think it's a uh... Yeah, it's after four o'clock p.m. So honestly, I've just been like working and editing this vlog that's gonna be going up tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna continue 
doing that i'm gonna wait for the contractor to come over tonight and then i'm also gonna go over to juan's and see juan and deliver all of like the christmas ornaments and everything yes i just wanted to get on here and the vlog hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video and seeing the progress of everything going on please make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up please make sure you're subscribed to keep up with the rest of the remodel and all the other upcoming videos that i have and i will just see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you